Hi guys, it's Sunset Kelly here. We're here for our next class so for my white, uh, I'm sorry, my green through brown belt class um, this week. So get ready to learn some of Wan Sukata today. Have your Screamo sticks ready or your Kali sticks. Uh, you'll need two of them today. And we'll do some kicks and some other activities in class today. So let's have a good class. We'll get started, okay? So show me your focus and respect. Bring your feet apart and say, please teach us Sensei. All right, student creed number one. I intend to develop myself in a positive manner and to avoid anything that reduce my mental growth or my physical health. All right, got it up. Number two, I intend to develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best of myself and others. And punch out number three, I intend to use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my community and never to be abusive or offensive. All right, back to your focus dance. All right, guys, so our warm up today is gonna to be some jogging in place and then doing some exercises in between. So go ahead and start jogging in place. We're gonna jog for a little bit and then do some exercises for 30 seconds. All right, so when I say go, you're gonna start your squat kicks, okay? Just like that where you bend down, kick, bend down, kick, bend down, kick, okay? So keep on jogging, ready, and go. Squat kicks. Good. Keep your guard up. Looking good. Couple more. All right, and start jogging in place. All right, so our next exercise is just gonna be jumping jacks, okay? So we're just gonna bring our arms up and back, just like that, so keep on jogging. And jumping jacks, go. Bring your arms up, down, up, down. Good, feet go apart and together, apart and together. Good, we're gonna do this for about 30 seconds. Keep on going. All right, and stop. Okay, go ahead, keep on jogging in place. Try to get those knees nice and high. Good. Our next exercise is going to be putting your guard up just like this. And we're going to just be doing reverse punches out in front as fast as you can, twisting in and out. Okay. So when I say go, you're going to put your guard up and start doing that reverse punch. All right. Ready? Go. Reverse punch as fast as you can. Good. Keep on going. Switch your legs. Other hand. Good, keep on going. That's it, nice work. And go ahead and start jogging, nice work. All right, we got a few more to do today. All right, when I say go, you're gonna be shuffling side to side. Okay, side to side, using that quick footwork. Okay, like you would in sparring. All right, ready, go ahead, with me. Keep on going. That's it. Let's see if we can go faster. All right, and break. All right, nice job, guys. Let's take a couple deep breaths in and deep breath out. Deep breath in and out. And let's do some stretching now, okay? So bring your feet apart and circle your arms forward. Nice job. Now circle your arms backwards. Good, now twist side to side. And stretch in the middle. Good, stand on up, bring your feet out a little bit further and stretch. Good, standing up, shake out your hands. Nice job, everybody. All right, so this week we're gonna start with our kicks because we didn't get to them last week. So I wanna start off right away with our spinning back kick, okay? So what I'm gonna have everybody do is put their left leg in front just like this, okay? And I'm gonna show you the kick first, okay? Some of you guys have might've done this before. This might be new to some people, okay? Especially our green belts. So we're gonna turn, turn your hands and then kick 
backwards towards me using a back kick, okay? So we call it a spinning back kick, but it's almost like a turning back kick, okay? So you start in front, you turn your hands all the way around, and then you kick. And do a straight back kick, and then you set down in front, and then you step behind, okay? So remember, when you do a back kick, you want to hit with the heel of your foot, okay? So if you don't remember this part right here, okay, that's going straight back and that's what you want to hit with, okay? Remember to keep your guard up the whole time, all right? And all you're doing is turning, turning to the back just like this. Now that back leg, again, comes straight out just like that and then you land with your hands up like this, all right? So what I'm going to do sometimes is easier to have a target, okay? So I know this is uh, um, at home here, you're going through a computer screen, but at least you guys can aim for something, okay? So go ahead and put your guard up. All right, now turn all the way around and kick. All right, nice job. All right, let's do it again. Turn all the way around and kick. Excellent. Again, ready, turn and kick. Nice job, one more time, turn and kick. Excellent, okay? So now we'll bring the pad back up in a minute, but switch your legs, okay? So now we're gonna use the other leg. So you're gonna turn all the way around, this leg and back, that's the one that's gonna do with the back kick. And then you set down in front and then we go back, okay? So we turn, back kick and set down. Excellent. Start up, let's do it one more time. Turn. Hands come around, make sure you're looking over your shoulder and kick straight back to me, okay? So put your guard up. We're gonna try it on the pad again, okay? Put your guard up and you're gonna turn around this way, kick on the pad. Good, all right, let's do it again. Ready and go. Good, ready, go. And one more time, go. Excellent, nice job, all right? So again, some of you guys might have done that spinning back kick before. Some of it, some of you guys, it might be new um, to you. So we'll keep on working um, through our curriculum on this. All right, let's get on to our Juan Sukata. Last week we went over the cat stance, and I'll tip my screen down a little bit for you guys so you can see. All right, we went over the cat stance and we went over the crane stance, okay? So those two stances we're gonna be using in this kata, okay? So we'll get to the crane stance today. The cat stance comes up a little bit later in the kata, but you'll need that um, for the future, okay? So it's good that you're working on those stances. So we're gonna start Mansu kata. So start in your attention stance. And remember the first few commands, a new green belt, so this will be um, new for you. The first word is yesme. So we're gonna step out yesme. And then we're gonna to go to Kitsuke, Ray, and Hajime. Good. And let's go over that one more time, especially if we have some new green belts here, okay? Because those words mean something whenever the instructor says them, okay? So that first word is yesume, okay? So when we step out, we step out into a seisan stance and we like to do two down blocks right here. Yesume means at ease in Japanese, okay? So you're getting ready for your kata, okay? This is the presentation for it. And when the instructor says yesume, that's what that means. Kitsuke means attention or your focus stance, okay? So in Japanese, kitsuke means attention. All right, the next word is rei. You can probably guess what that means. If you said bow, that's correct, okay? Rei means bow in Japanese. And then hajime means begin, okay? And that's how we begin all of our katas. So when the instructor says hajime, you bring your hands up and that's when you're ready to start. And then you're gonna say kata wansu. All right, good. Now from here, you're gonna go into your nahachi stance and I'm gonna mirror you guys for this, okay? You're gonna bring your hand up here just like this. So this hand is open, this hand is closed. And you're gonna slowly bring it down. Now we're gonna look to the side here and you're gonna do a down block, okay? Someone's trying to punch you here and you're gonna block them out of the way. Then you're gonna do a punch, okay? But this punch is a little bit different. It punches out and comes a little, it comes back just like this. So it doesn't go back to your belt. It doesn't stay out, it comes halfway back, okay? So watch me again. I'm in my Nahachi stance, I do a down block 
and then I do a bunch and it comes halfway back, okay? Now you're gonna bring your hands over to your side. You're gonna circle step forward with your left leg, okay? And then your left hand is gonna do a down block and then your right hand is gonna do a punch, just like this. Now you're gonna circle step forward in your Saison stance again. Your hand comes over to your belt and you're gonna do an open hand side block. Now this move is a little bit different too. What you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be blocking with this hand, but stabbing with the other hand, okay? So do you see how my hand comes open, my fingers are together, my thumb is in, and it stabs out towards the solar plexus. Now I'm gonna take this hand, I'm gonna bring it back to my belt. And here comes our crane stance, okay? Let me back up a little bit. I'm gonna take my back leg and I'm gonna step it behind just like this, and I'm gonna do a punch towards you. All right, and I'm in a good crane stance here. All right, so let me go over that part again because it's really important that we know that. When we change to our crane stance, we leave our front leg standing straight, okay? Or staying straight, I should say, not standing. All right, it's staying straight. That foot is um, facing forward. So we don't move that, pretend it's glued to the ground. Our back leg comes around in back of us, okay, or behind us, and that one goes on the ball of the foot just like this, and that's when we do our punch, and if I turn sideways, you see how my knees are touching just like this? That's what I want, okay? So we're going to go over that beginning part again, okay? So here we go. I'm going to say the words, okay? Ready? Yes, may. It's gay. Ray. And hajime. Kata Wansu. All right, Nahachi stance, hands up. One is open, one is in a tight fist. We look to the side, we bring our hands down. Now we're gonna do our down block here, and now we're gonna do a punch and bring it back halfway. Hands go to your side here. We're gonna circle step forward. Good, in our stays on stance. And we're gonna do a down block, and then we're gonna do a punch. Now we're gonna circle step forward, Hands come over. We're gonna do an open hand side block. This one comes around and blocks it. Well, this one stabs. Now take this back foot. You're gonna step it behind. But before we do that, bring this hand back to your belt, step it behind and punch. Good. All right, one more time. And then we're gonna go a little bit further, but what's good is that it just repeats the part that we did before, okay? So let's do it one more time together. All right. Do you remember the first word? Yes, May? Good job. All right, so bring it out. Two down blocks. Kitsuke, Ray, Hajime, Kata, Wansu. All right, now hockey stance. Hands up, look, bring it down. Down block, punch. Hands come over. Circle step forward. Down block, punch. Hands come over. Circle step forward. Block, stab. Step over, bring your hand to your belt, punch. Now we're gonna do the same thing going the other direction. So you're gonna step out and do your down block, okay? And when you do this, your left leg should be forward. So down block, punch, circle step forward, block, stab, hand goes to your side, step behind, punch, okay? So it's the same thing, just using the other legs, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn around so you guys can follow so you have the whole thing down, okay? All right, here we go. Left leg, Yesme. Kitsuke, Ray, Hajime. Kata, Wansu. Nahachi stance, hands up. Turn, left hand down block, right hand punch. Circle step, left leg forward, say down stance, down block, punch. Circle step forward, right hand, open hand block, stab, right hand comes back to your belt, step behind, punch. Look to the other direction, left leg in front, left hand down block, right hand punch. Circle step forward, right hand, open hand block, left hand stab, right hand comes to your belt, step behind, punch. Just like that, all right? So good, nice job. Try to practice that on your own, okay? And again, if you have to pause or revisit um, the video to practice that, that's okay. All right, you guys are doing well. So I want you guys practicing that week. Next week, we'll go a little bit further in the cut.
if you have your double sticks or if you want to pause the video and grab your double sticks, please do that at this point, okay? So we're on to our scream of sticks this uh, next couple months, okay? So what you're going to do from here, bring your feet apart and just loosen up. Just take your scream of sticks and just go back and forth just like this. This just warms up the forearm, forearm muscles. Good. That's it. Now, take your screaming sticks. Remember, always leave a little bit at the end, okay, that you're holding, a little bit at the end. All right, and now you're going to pretend you're a car and you're going to be windshield wipers, getting the rain away. Good. And this is another warm up as well. Good. All right, nice job. All right, remember, sticks always come up to your shoulders, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring them around and down, kind of like our side spins for our nunchucks. We come around, forward, and then we come down. Then we do a backward spin. We bring them backwards and up. So they come around, down, back, up. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If I turn sideways, see how they come forward? And I make a circle and then they come back. I make a circle and they come up. And up, good. And up, one more time. Good, okay, so those are some exercises. As you get more advanced then you guys can try different things. One goes forward, one goes back and you switch. Just like that, okay, all right. And that's tough to do, okay. Sometimes you practice this way and then this way, and then this way, and then this way. Down, down, up, up. And we're gonna get more into that as we go on in the curriculum. But let's try a couple of our series with our double sticks, okay? So again, remember those double sticks come up to your shoulder. And the first one we're gonna do is our high, high, okay? And you guys are gonna do them towards me, all right? So we wanna hit with our high, but we want to bring it back to our shoulder. Then we want to twist and hit with our other high and bring it back to our shoulder. So we're one, back, two, back. And see how I twist my body? You guys try that. Good. See how I'm kind of speeding it up now? All right, aim for my sticks. I'm going to get a little bit closer and I want you to aim for my sticks. Excellent. Good. You don't want to go wild with a stick where you're swinging it just like that. You want to bring it out, stop it, and bring it back. So you show me good control over your stick. Excellent. All right, so now we're gonna, I'm gonna back up a little bit. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna go low. All right, so I'm gonna come low, but notice it comes right back up to my shoulder and then low, right back up to my shoulder. I don't go all the way through. I wanna stop it and then back, stop it and back. Just like this, good. Keep practicing it. If you can time your stick with my stick so it looks like we're tapping them, that's even better. Good work. You got it. All right, nice job. So now we're gonna put both of them together. So we're gonna go high, tap, back, high, tap, back, low, tap, back, low tap back. So it's four moves, okay? So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Good, together. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. A little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Even faster. One, two, three, four. Excellent job, okay? So now you have some karate homework over the week to practice those strikes, okay? All right, and if you don't have sticks yet, okay, you can always get them at the karate school 
if you need to, and your parents can come pick them up. Or if you could find two, uh, two wooden things at home or even plastic things, just so you can practice your moves, that's even better. So you can put your sticks away and we're gonna be finishing up for today. You guys did a great job, okay? Keep working hard. We're gonna do more want to guide next week, okay? All right, let's finish up. Let's do our focus and our respect. Bring your feet apart and say thank you for teaching us, Sensei. You're welcome. Here we go. As a dedicated student of the martial arts, I will live by the principles of black belt. Honesty, courtesy, integrity, self-control, perseverance, and indomitable spirit. What kind of school is this? That's right. This is the black belt school. You guys have a great week. Okay. We'll see you next week. Bye guys.